A few weeks ago, a new base map came out in Austria called basemap.at, and it's a um, free and open source um, tile-based um, web map service uh, um, using the web map tile service uh, protocols. And um, as you can see here, it's a very detailed map of um, Austria. So we had a um, someone ask us if we could show this in Small World. And the answer is yes, we can. So you can see here we have a, a Small World uh, SWAF application. And for reference, I've included a couple other data sets that Web Maps Connector, the iFactor Consulting plugin for Small World, uh, handles. So here, uh, let's just zoom in. We'll go into Salzburg. See the data shows up quite nicely there. Uh, you may want to compare this to other data sources. Could uh, just bring up the data comparer, and let's say we want to compare it to Google Maps. Google Maps is a data source provided um, by Web Maps Connector, and I think it's also uh, provided by the uh, by the GE Small World uh, plugin as well. So there we go. There's Google. Now doing the comparison, on the left you'll see what the basemap.at data looks like, and on the right is what Google looks like. And you can see in this case, the locally generated data is a lot more accurate than anything you could get from, from Google. And of course, because uh, Web Maps Connector uh, uses the standard uh, spatial object manager technology, we can overlay or uh, combine lots of other data. We could also, you know, show MapQuest data. Oh, in this case, it's MapQuest OpenStreetMap data. But as you can see from this demo, um, what we want to highlight is the newly avail available data from basemap.at is now available as a data source in Small World via Web Maps Connector.